Brad, welcome back to another week. I am excited that I am seeing some successful submissions using this Gravit Designer, the kind of Illustrator type thing that we'll be using for the remainder of the year. Um, so what we're actually going to do is uh, we are going to continue moving forward with our product designs. However, we are going to design the package for it. All right. So you should all be watching this video. This is the box, okay? So I'll speak more about this next week. You're gonna have a front right here, and then the front left, no, well, front, the left side of the box. So you're designing one front, two side, three top. Everyone is designing a design for this box, okay? Obviously, everyone's design is going to be different. I have created a template like. Uh, template like thing where you have the uh, the front and then the left side and then I'll also make one for the top so next week we'll be doing sketches of those and then probably in two weeks we'll be moving forward with the actual digital um, round and submission of that so this project should take us to the end of the year um, but I'm looking forward to moving forward with this I'm happy that we're back in the digital realm so now to go over the assignment, and we have done, done something very similar to this. Um, the goal is to research 10 potential package designs, okay? When I said 10 potential package designs, it's like you're researching 10 styles that you like. Not, you know, you're not copying any of these package designs. Let me say that again. You are not copying anything, okay? However, if you find a design you like, you know, you can take aspects from that design. For example, I really like, in this one, I really like the use of very flat and simple shapes to create those flower patterns. In this one, it's a little, it's completely different, but it's a very detailed illustration with that kind of Chinese, Japanese inspiration behind it. Um, this one using very simple shapes to create kind of different patterns. Um, so there's there's going to be different things of each package that you could take and implement them in your own design But they are your own design when we get into the sketching phase. It is your own design It's going to be helpful to have 10 potential designs So if you're stuck you can look at one of the packages that you researched and then be like all right I'm gonna you know try to do something similar to that package for mine however when you're looking up these package designs Make sure that it could somehow relate to your uh, design. So if you did a candy, right, how could that candy, how could your logo relate to the design, okay? So there's some of you that did, uh, created a logo that just simply would not be able to relate to this at all, okay? So if my logo was, um, you know, I'm trying to give it, so if my logo was some type of soap, how the heck is this illustration relating to soap in any way, shape, or form? Right? How am I going to take a illustration of a tiger unless your the name of your soap is tiger soap, which it isn't. None of you submitted something like that. So how would that relate? Okay, so have a purpose when you're looking at these products. It's only going to help you moving forward. If you're just finding the first 10 package designs that you see, you're probably going to hurt yourself and you're going to make it harder for yourself on the next step. So don't do that. Uh, be mindful of the illustrations, the designs that you are looking at and how it could potentially relate to the design that you want to create. And again, like I said, next week, you are going to be creating three different designs and then we'll decide together, as no, as always, which one we should move forward with in the Gravit Designer. Okay, so just do this on a Google Doc. I rather it all ten images on a Google Doc rather than have ten separate images. I have to click and open up. So if you could just put all of them on a Google Doc, I'll greatly appreciate it that way. If you if you can't figure out how to do that, you know, no stress. It's just a little bit easier for me if it's on a Google Doc. Use these websites. I'll tell you right now, the Dye Line and Behance are probably uh, going to be extremely helpful for this assignment. The Inspiration Grid and Creative Boom will be helpful as well. But um, I used, I was just on Behance and I found these, um, so I suggest you do that. You know, Behance. Nope, just found that one. 
as I said, the die line is also very good. And if you open it up right here, you can change, you know, if I clear this, you can change the category of what, you know, you're looking for. Um, also, be mindful of the type of packages that, you know, you're looking at. Okay, some like this, none of you will be able to do this, so you shouldn't be submitting something like this. Okay, like a shoebox. That wouldn't make any sense. This can translate to our package design. This could translate to our package design. Also, please stay away from kind of that minimalism. We really, you know, something like this. I really don't want to see any of you just putting the name of your product on the package and then filling it in with the color. Even though that tends to be uh, a current design trend is that minimalistic approach. That is not what we are doing. We're looking for things more like this where we have a simple illustration on it. Maybe a quote. You could think about putting a quote. Maybe you know incorporate a quote to a song that you like. Um, you know, word illustrations are interesting as well. So, you know nice organic shapes so there's there's a bunch of different things that you can be looking at but please stay away from minimalism stay away from one color and then the names right so this is minimalism just having your logo on the package is too minimal okay this is minimalism but it's a more interesting concept okay the dice takes form of the shape of the package so um just yeah that's really it okay so i should see 10 images from everybody of 10 different package designs okay think of jars bottles cans actual boxes okay use these three to kind of base what i'm looking for and then um we'll move forward with this assignment and the next part as i said is to start designing right now we are in the research phase so do this research phase well it's only going to make it easier for you moving forward and I look forward to your submissions. I'll look over all 10 images of everyone that submits. And then I'll give you some recommendations of certain designs that I think would be interesting moving forward with for next week. Okay. Simple assignment. I hope everyone enjoyed the long weekend. Back to work. Home stretch right now. Right. We only have a couple more, uh, like three and a half weeks left. So let's make it a solid, successful productive three and a half weeks and then you can do anything you want for the summer um even though i suggest staying productive over the summer but um we're almost done with the school year and then hopefully next year we're back in the classroom back to normal um all right everybody uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll talk to you soon live office hours this thursday once again if you have any questions that's a good time to ask them let me know if you need any help and good luck i'll talk to you soon